Angelina and the Princess. Angelina was much too excited to sleep. The students at Miss Lily's ballet school had been asked to dance for Her Royal Highness, the Princess of Mouseland. Mr. Lightfoot, director of the famous Royal Ballet Company, was coming tomorrow to help Miss Lily choose the best ballerinas for the special performance. Angelina wanted a leading part so much that she worked on her, her plies, plies. I forgot what that is, and pirouettes far into the night when she should have been sound asleep. The next morning, Angelina woke up feeling terrible. Her head ached and her ears buzzed. Angelina's mother took her temperature and shook her head sadly. I'm afraid you'll have to stay in bed, she said. You can't go to the ballet school when you're not well. But Angelina was determined to go. While her mother was busy downstairs, Angelina packed her ballet bag. And tiptoed out of the house. Angelina arrived at Miss Lily's ballet school just in time to join her friends Flora and Felicity and all the other ballerinas who were waiting to go on stage. Flora did a nimble leap and a delicate spin. And then it was Angelina's turn to dance. Her heart started beating like a drum. And she couldn't remember what she was supposed to be doing. The music started and Angelina knew she had to begin. She tried one step, she tried another. Then she began twirling and spinning like a top until she was so dizzy she lost her balance, tripped on her pink ribbons, and tumbled down with a thump. Flora and Felicity were given the leading roles in the dance of the flower fairies. Later, Miss Lily called for Angelina. I'm afraid you will have to take a smaller part this time, she said, trying to be kind. When Angelina got home, her mother was very upset. How could you run away like that when I told you to stay in bed? She asked, dropping her knitting. Angelina burst into tears. I had to go to Miss Lily's, but everything went wrong. I danced so badly for Mr. Lightfoot. I will never be a real ballerina. I am not going to ballet school anymore. Angelina's mother hugged her and kissed her and carried her upstairs. 
and in just a minute she was fast asleep in her own bed again. The next day, Angelina's headache was gone. She felt better, but she was still very sad. It's not fair, said Angelina. Maybe not, her mother said gently, but things don't always go our way. You can still do your best with whatever part you are given, and that will help the whole performance. Angelina thought about what her mother had said. Then she returned to Miss Lily's after all, and rehearsed very hard with the other ballerinas for the royal performance. After she had learned her own part, she memorized the dance of the flower fairies while watching Flora and Felicity. On the day of the royal performance, just as the show was about to begin, Flora tripped and sprained her ankle. Everyone was terribly upset. Mr. Lightfoot and Miss Lily turned to each other in horror. How can, who can do the part, they cried. Angelina was worried about Flora, but Susie stepped forward and said, Angelina can. It's a look of a mouse that sprained her ankle. It's like, oh, I'm just here. <laughs> Ooh, bandage. Angelina showed Miss Lily that she had learned the dance by heart. But what about Flora, she asked. Don't worry, said Miss Lily. We have a treat for her. So Flora was happy because she was invited to sit right next to the Princess of Mouseland. Mr. Lightfoot and Miss Lily were happy because the performance could go on. Angelina was happy because she did the dance of the flower fairies without forgetting a single step. The Princess of Mouseland was happy because she loved ballet. When the performance was over, she congratulated Angelina and thanked her warmly for saving the show.